Hey guys. So, I apologize, I'm coming to you from my phone today. My computer's in the shop, so there's not going to be any editing or anything like that. So this may be a, a little rough, but I wanted to come on here and talk about a couple things that have been on my mind this past week. Um, a couple days ago I turned 30. Which is weird. I'm old. I feel old. Um, I realize 30 isn't that old, so I'm not, I'm not really tripping about it, but it did get me thinking a lot about where I was 10 years ago and where I am today. And not just where I am, but like where everything is, like what's changed, what's going on, like what what has the last 10 years accomplished? Um, and so I have a few thoughts on this. And for me, it's sort of a strange, strange space to be in. Uh, 10 years ago, I was in school. And now I'm in school. So, it's so like when you, when you compare like, day to day what I'm doing, going to school full time, you know, hoping that it pays off at some point and I, I get to have a, a career focused on things I want. Like a lot of those things are the same as they were 10 years ago and I'm like, oh my gosh, have I, have I really not accomplished anything? Um, but then I think about it. And I think about, you know, all right, so not, not just where I was, like, physically or what I was doing, but, like, where am I mentally ten years later? And I think back um, to me at 20, which was, um, I transitioned a month after I turned 20. And so this was a month before I transitioned and I was struggling with everything in my life, like school, friends, just living. I was like coping through all of the, the shit with a lot of drugs. Um, it was like the only way I knew how to like handle any of the stuff that was going on. Um, I was living in Utah at the time, <laughs> um, which is where I was born, where I was raised. And the last 10 years brought a lot of change to that. So like I said, a month after I turned 20, I transitioned and started living as Aaron. Um, I lived in Utah for about nine months doing that and experienced some of the worst um, prejudice that I've ever experienced in my whole life there. Um, it was paralyzing is what it was. Um, I would hide, I hid constantly. Um, I wouldn't go out during the day, unless I had to. Um, I couldn't find anyone like me to relate to. I tried. Um, the only people I could find were, you know, 40 years older than me and were cross-dressers. They weren't trans, um, at least not the same way that I am. Um, I thought about killing myself a lot. And I'm really glad that I didn't, because, I mean, obviously. Um, but about nine months of that was about all I could take, and I needed to get out, and I moved. I moved to New York City. I sold everything, everything I had I sold, and I, had, I whittled all, all my possessions down to three suitcases and took off for New York. It was crazy. I, I can't imagine 
doing that now. I can't imagine selling everything I have and just moving and hoping it works out, but I was so desperate. I needed something, something had to change. I spent five years in New York and I loved it there. I met Morgan, I met my wife. Um, I did drop out of school because I couldn't afford it anymore. But I started a career and I worked really hard. Um, I was able to, you know, expand that and eventually when I moved here I got to actually work with the trans community. Um, not just online, but like in a like day-to-day -day sort of basis and it was very, it was exactly what I wanted to do, like that's my passion. So, you know, here I am ten years later, I'm in the same place, but I'm not in the same space. I'm in a different space. Um, and so that, that's sort of interesting. Um, but I just wanted to come on and share for a minute about sort of what I've been thinking about. And um, you know, I'm going to be on soon also to talk about like what are some of the larger changes I've seen happen over the last 10 years. So stay tuned for part two. That's going to come later. So I'll see you guys.